<laughs> yeah. So like, I mean, that's we're not talking weird, about that's a weird estimate. Kind of. That is a weird, <laughs> that's, that's, that is a weird way to describe it. A large plane could fit in it 15 times. 15 times. Pause that's for dramatic funny. effect. Yeah. That's 15 a times. That's a, so large. That's yeah. That's, that's huge. That's, that's like, that's like, that's like, <laughs> that's like that's bigger than an that, aircraft carrier. That's way bigger than what <laughs> was seen at the hospital then. Yeah. But she's not a nurse. She's not very observant, right? Is that what yeah. it is? Could be. Yeah. Like she could, it could be. Teacher, teachers see everything. Got eyes in the back of their head no. sometimes. <laughs> I think teachers are very observant and smart. I'm being an asshole. I don't think they can be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> not trustworthy liars. people at all. Bunch of Anybody liars. Work, anyone who works with vulnerable demographics. Does, they, you know, you know why I don't trust teachers? Because Byron's a teacher, and I would never trust him. Anymore. <laughs> that's true. That Touché. is true. Yeah. That's, no, that's why teachers can't, can't be trusted. That. You have Byron teaching your kids. <laughs> You're all screwed. English class must be really weird. Yeah. He was teaching I, English for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Byron was teaching Rice French at one point. <laughs> Byron, Byron was teaching grade six French. I was like, Bonjour, you don't know any French. He's like, he said, <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Tomo That's a tangent, but yeah. So you can't treat if Byron's a teacher, you can't trust teachers. Therefore, their word cannot I'm sure his be French relied is very on. Good. No, it's terrible. It's really bad. <laughs> it's he can't French. speak one word. What? He's teaching French <laughs> to eleven-year-olds. Yeah, you don't even know if they're actually teaching French or just saying made-up words at that point. Exactly. Set un stylo, set un stylo. Like that's all they're doing. <laughs> Yeah, right. You got it. I don't know the rest. Okay. I see. I see. You've taught French before. <laughs> um, the thing with Vancouver, I don't know. Not a lot of people know is, and I'm not saying that this is a hundred percent. Is that where you're from? Is that where you live? That's where I'm from. Oh, okay. Um, he knows is everyone that, too on the island. Yeah, I know everyone. Uh, knows is everyone. Yeah. This is we have an air force base on Vancouver Island, right? No, no, possibly nukes. But I worked no, with no, a guy no. who told me that there was nukes on Vancouver Island. They lied there's to you. No nukes. There's there's signs. There's signs. There's signs that say no nu nuclear there's free signs zone. That say <laughs> nuclear free zone in Nanaimo. Nowhere else. It's a nuclear free city. A new no. The um, only one. But the thing is, is like, so we have an Air Force base in Comox. So part of me was because I'm like, it does seem like her description of this, that one, very, hu very humanoid, like very Two, I'm like, they're like, it looks like they're struggling with operating this thing what with whatever it is like maybe that they're, they're not they didn't mean to like end up this close to the hospital so i was kind of thinking that like you know i was like okay well this the technology exceeds anything um that we we might have so i thought maybe this is a recovered alien craft that pilots are trying to pilot second thing i kind of was thinking of i was like isn't there that Canadian, that shitty Canadian craft that we made? There was it was unreal. The Avro like Arrow. No, well, no, 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 that's the Avro one. car. No, the, project the Avro project. Car. Yeah, the Avro car is like one project. that's like circular like that. Though. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. It, it made noise. It, I didn't. Find, but may, but like maybe Project Forty Seven B or something. Yeah, but maybe they improved it. This the other thing I was just, I just came to my head is like <laughs> we have at one point we were le like cutting edge aerospace with like the Avro Arrow, so it was like. Could this have been some sort of experimental craft flying, doing test runs? Because people also saw it like heading up up the road, like highways, like in the Nanaimo area. So like just a little bit no further north, uh, as the crow flies, is the Comox Valley military base, right? The Air Force base. So, you know, maybe like maybe it's they're doing test flights. <laughs> the way the I way that that's we the right way to use that word is it? What, what are you talking about? What word? That's a crow fries. Doesn't that just mean straight? Yeah, as the but as so not on the road. That's what I'm saying. Like it's not okay. the UFO's not driving. It's flying. So as the crow flies, not that far. Uh, I feel like the descriptions, like like we've we, we've already mentioned, is that it's like yeah, yeah it seemed like they were having some. <laughs> To her observation, like they're having some sort of technical difficulty, and for some reason, this reminds me of that that 
if anybody remembers like when you would get those you get like the magazines and stuff and then the back it would be like you know order the parts to build your own hovercraft or something like that you know it'd like you know you could get a catalog of all these parts of junk and whatever <laughs> like it's just, just something like two guys like whipped together in their backyard and like mm. it's just like the fact that it's like okay you've got this somehow like motion or whatever tactile activated chrome panel and then it has a joystick on the side you know it's like, like- i it just Part seems of out of it seems rec- out of place. <laughs> yeah, too recognizable almost. It seems weird. It just, and she's like, "Yeah," and he operated the the stick to kind of con- to control where the craft is going. And I'd be like, "Well, that seems strange. It just seems like it's too analog to be like you have an analog stick where you have like a, instead you're, you're moving your hands over these panels that seem to change with the way the positions of your hands and all this. And then you sure have that, the stick. <laughs> that's how George Jetson drives his fucking spaceship. Well, yeah. it sounds like it sounds like the you know the Independence Day setup where it's like where they got fucking like Jeff Goldblum's like iMac interface like Jerry rigged like interface on their <laughs> UFO craft and they've got like post its on there that say like this goes up this goes down this activates the shielding <laughs> like right, I but, don't that, really- <laughs> but that could be exactly it right like these are humans. why'd you pull the post its off are, yeah these are humans <laughs> trying to like they have a retrofitted joystick because they're like we know how to use this so they have it retrofitted and they're like it's fucking up. And they're like, I don't know, wave your hand. Know. Wave your hand three times, activates is like it's like not working out. Meanwhile, oh, that's buddy's like the backup like, system. Yeah. And buddy's right? like it failed, so they yeah. And buddy's like touching his head, he's like, Fuck, buddy, we gotta get out of here. So if someone sees us, someone's looking right at us in the window. Get us the fuck out of here. <laughs> she's got that hungry look in her eyes. <laughs> I don't like the way she's looking at us. Yeah, she's quick, she's undoing her top. <laughs> get us out of here. Hello, um, boys. The other thing is Beam like me up. <laughs> uh, like on Vancouver Island, we have there's there's like a, the Navy's house here and stuff. And Dan, you might know what this is. I never knew what it is, but I've seen it parked off the coast a couple times in the Georgia Strait. It's like a, a the Zomwa, Zomwalt. I had to look what it is. Zomwalt class destroyer, the USS Michael Monsoor. It's like one of three of your guys' like most expensive Navy ships. It's like a, it's made for like to be stealth radar stealthy. It has a really sure. weird appearance. Oh, the uh, ones that are like the ones that have like the tri. Yeah. Like yeah. the ones, are you talking about the ones that have like the stealth kind of, on, they're all funny looking, it. angular think, looking and stuff. Are sure, you talking yeah. about that one? I think if I do this one, this one here, can you see this? No. Oh, oh no, I can't. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what those are. Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, so that, Stealth that's been... warship. Yeah, so that's been parked out. Things are, the things are pretty cool. And I, I have a buddy. I got a friend who has a friend, friend of a friend, who worked down in Nanaimo running, running like crush truck out of like one of the Navy bases. And he said that for 18 months all he did was go down to the ocean and all day would take loads out like of dirt and like like they were digging right and he's like i don't know what they were digging and putting there but like for 18 months all we did was nukes take well it's (laughs) there's signs signs. and again we've talked about before (laughs) as you drive into the city of nanaimo on vancouver island there's signs at every entrance into the city that says this city is a nuclear free city yeah, but it's the only city that has those. And so it's like nuclear free, like sure. Yeah. Right. That's, but then that's the best way to, the Canadians can come and cover up something. So <laughs> don't, put a sign there. don't worry about it. But then <laughs> if you think about how, how much UFOs are like interested in that kind of stuff and like, you know, buzz in places where nukes are being held, could it have, you know, maybe before they put up the signs, they had nukes there. <laughs> right? They had nukes hidden. So that's why they were getting this UFO flap at this time is because nukes whether they were strategic NATO positioning for Navy, right, or on Navy ships for housing in the 70s, right? Which is, I don't think is, would be wildly out well, of the they, cra- question. Well, they, they always, like, Canada never, ever said that we had nukes, but they never didn't say we didn't have American nukes. Yeah. <laughs> we so have could have very been, nukes. <laughs> very bit, very well been a, like, a NORAD installation on that, which makes sense because, you know, that Russia's not far away at this point especially in the cold war so to have american nukes on canadian soil but no one knows about it i i wouldn't be surprised 100 percent. would not be surprised 100%. at least a couple just a few just in case i heard at the entrance they have this like fucking video game that nobody knows about and you have to play it to open the door 
Yeah, Speak the, the password. Get in. Yeah. It's where it's where they hold the recipe for Nanaimo bars. Oh, but I love <laughs> that's that's the big bars. secret. That's yeah, I have to say one one of my favorite parts about researching this uh, this for this case file was like there were a a couple serial misspellings of locations <laughs> of 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 talk. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.